Welcome back to Andy's Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to transfer domain from Squarespace to Webflow. Let's begin. Now, the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Webflow, click on the Get Started It's Free option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Now, transferring a domain from Squarespace to Webflow might be considered for several reasons because number one, Webflow offers more advanced design tools and greater flexibility, allowing for fully custom designs without needing to code. All right, Web Webflow provides robust design tools like CSS Grid and Flexbox for intricate layouts and responsive design, which can be more advanced than Squarespace design options. As you can see, unlike Squarespace, which relies heavily on templates, Webflow allows me to build from scratch within my site without any template constraints, providing total creative freedom. But the thing is, how do we transfer a domain from Squarespace to Webflow? It's not easy, but it's doable because number one, what you need to do is I need you to go to the Webflow's dashboard and from here, hover to the side where it says general right now as you can see all they have to do is hover to the uh, upper right corner where it says publish this is going to be uh, the uh, domain that we are going to transfer or going to be um, the uh, domain from Squarespace to be transferred here in Webflow all right and what you can do from here is click on the publish to selected domains right now, just wait for it a little bit. Now, from here, if you want to connect your custom domain, which is from our Squarespace, and automatically set your DNS records, all right, all you have to do is go to the publishing or publish and add a custom domain. Choose manually add domain. And from there, enter the domain you want to connect with Webflow, which is going to be your Squarespace domain, all right? Say, for example, if this is your Squarespace domain, all I have to do is add it here on the add a custom domain. But the thing is, when you hover down below, once you have a site plan, you can add your domains below or buy a new one, which is going to be the squarespace all i have to do is i need to upgrade to a paid site plan to add or purchase custom domain which is clicking on this um option and from here this is going to be the starter which is i am right now but if you wanted to transfer the your custom domain which is your squarespace without needing to set your gns records manually it'll automatically be a uh, free uh, pre-filled you need to upgrade to basic all right and as you can see you can have a one free custom domain and these are going to be your perks and benefits that you can take advantage all right it's really easy again just click on add the custom domain and from here just click add the uh, custom domain from your squarespace all right now now if you're planning to use squarespace instead of webflow it's the same process because all I have to do, if you have a custom domain here, all right, all I have to do is transfer a domain. You see right here? Okay, so enter your domain to get started, which is the Webflow. This one right here, I'm going to copy this one. And enter your domain to get started. Let me do that again. Okay, and press the forward option. Now, if you get th this kind of error, I suggest you go in here instead. This is the official Squarespace help center, and just choose a topic. That's going to be uh, the, your um, domain, or just click on the contact us option here below. Once you do that, it will be forwarded to a new page. Alternatively, you are also welcome to go to the Webflow Support Center and enter your question, which is going to be something like this one. All right, how to connect your or connect your custom domain, your Squarespace to Webflow. All right, and that's it for today's video. 
You can also submit a ticket here. Now, thank you so, so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.